my soul, let me not name it to you, you chase stars. That is the cause. Yet I'll not shed her blood, <coughs> nor scar her whiter skin than snow, and smooth as monumental alabaster. Yet she must die, or else she'll betray more men. Put out the light. Quench thee, thou flaming minister. I can thy former light restore if I do but repent me. But put out thy light, thou cunning pattern of excelling nature. I know not where is that Promethean heat that can thy former life relume. When I pluck the rose, I cannot give it vital growth again. It must needs wither. Smells on the tree. Ah, balmy breath that almost persuades justice to break her sword. Once more, once more. Be like thus when thou art dead, and I will kill thee and love thee after. Once more, and this is the last. So sweet was ne'er so fatal. I must weep, but they are cruel tears. This sorrow's heavenly. It strikes where it doth love. She wakes. Who's there? Helen. Aye, Desdemona. Have you come to bed, my lord? Have you prayed, Desdemona? Aye, my lord. If you think yourself of any crime as yet unreconciled to heaven and grace, solicit for it straight. What may you mean by that? Well, do it and be brief. I will walk by. I would not kill thy unprepared spirit. Nay, heaven forfend. I would not kill thy soul. Or kill the killer. I do. Heaven have mercy on me. I say amen. If you say so, I hope you would not kill me. Fatal when your eyes do roll so, I do not know why I should feel fear to the guilt of it. I know not, but yet do I feel fear. Think on thy sins. They are but loves that I bear to you. Aye, and for that thou diest. That's unnatural that kills for loving. Peace and be still. I will. What's the matter? The handkerchief. The handkerchief I gave thee, and thy loves. Thou gavest to Cassio. No, but my life and soul sent for the man. Ask him. Oh, sweet heaven. Oh, perjured soul. Take heed of perjury. Thou art on thy deathbed. I but not yet to die. Aye, presently. Therefore confess thee freely of thy sin. For to deny each article with oath cannot remove nor choke the strong conception that I do groan withal. Thou art to die. The Lord have mercy on me. I say amen. The Lord have mercy on you too. I never did offend you in my life. I never loved Cassio with such general warranty of heaven as I might love. I never gave him token. By heaven! I saw the handkerchief. Oh, perjured woman, thou dost stone my heart and call what I intend to do a murder which I thought a sacrifice. I saw the handkerchief. He bared it then. I never gave it to him. Send for him. Let him confess the truth. He hath confessed. To what, my lord? That he had used thee. How unlawfully. I. Stopped. Honesty outward, take no order for it. I heard her. Oh, is he dead? Had all his hairs been lies, my brave revenge had stomach for them all. But you made my will done. Down, Strumpy. Weakness not work to my face. Oh, banish me, my love, but kill me not. Down, Strumpy. Kill me tomorrow, but let me live tonight. Being done, there is no cause. Oh, for half an hour. It is too late. Ah! <laughs> Oh, my lord, my lord! What noise is this? Not dead. 
Not yet quite yet. I that am cruel, I'm yet merciful. I will not have thee linger in thy pain. So, so. What ho, oh, my lord, my lord! Who's there? Oh, my good lord, I will speak a word with you. Tis Amelia. What to do? Ah, no longer moving, still at the grave. What's best? I think she stirs, but no. in. She'll surely speak to my wife. My wife? My wife? What wife? I have no wife. Oh, insupportable. Oh, heavy hour. He thinks there should now be some huge eclipse of sun and moon, and the affrighted globe should yawn at alteration. I do beseech you that I may speak with you, O good my lord. Oh, Amelia! I forgot thee, soft, by and by. What's the matter with thee now? Oh, my good lord, yonder foul murder is done. What, now? What now, my lord? It is the very air of the moon. She comes closer than she was wont and makes men mad. Cassio, my lord, had killed a young Venetian called Rodrigo. Rodrigo killed? And Cassio killed? No, Cassio is not killed. Not Cassio killed? The murder's out of tune, and sweet revenge grows harsh. Oh, it's the murder. Alas, what crime is that? That? What? Out of the last that was my lady's voice. Oh, help, 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 help! Oh, lady, speak again. Oh, sweet mistress, sweet gentleman, speak. Who oh, has done this deed? How should she have been murdered? Alas, who knows? You heard her say, it was not I. She said so. I must needs report the truth. She's a liar gone to burning hell. It was I that killed her. Oh, the more angel she and you, the blacker devil. She had turned to folly, and she was a whore. Thou dost belie her, and thou art a devil. She was as false as water. Ashes fire to say that she was false. Oh, she was heavenly true. Cassio did top her. Ask thy husband else. Oh, I were damned beneath all depth in hell, but I did proceed upon just grounds to this extremity. Thy husband knew it all. My husband? Thy husband. That she was false to wedlock? Aye, but Cassio. Nay, had she been true. If heaven had made me another world of one entire and perfect chrysolite, I'll not have sold her for it. My husband? What need this iteration, woman? Thy husband, honest man that he is, and hate the slime that sticks to filthy deeds. Oh, mistress, villainy hath made mocks with love. My husband say that she was false? Thy husband. Dost understand the word? I say, thy husband, my friend, thy husband, honest, honest Iago. If he say so, may his pernicious soul rot half a grain a day. He lies to the heart. She was too fond of her most filthy bargain. <sighs> Do thy worst. This deed of thine is no more worthy heaven than thou wast worthy her. Peace. You were best. Not have that power to do me harm as I have to be hurt. O oh, gull, O oh, dozed, as ignorant as dirt, thou hast done a deed. I care not for thy sword. I'll make thee known, though I lost twenty lives. Help, help, oh, help! The more I have killed my mistress, murder, murder! What is the matter? How now, General? Who are you coming at him? You have done well that they must lay their murders on your neck. What is the matter? And if thou beest a man, he says thou told him that his wife is false. I know thou beest not, thou art not such a villain. Speak, for my heart is full. I told him what I thought, and told no more than what he found himself was apt and true. Did you ever tell him she was false? I did. Thou told a lie, odious damned lie, upon my soul a lie, a wicked lie. She false with Cassius? Did you say it with Cassius? With Cassius?
Cassio, go to and charm your tongue. I will not charm my tongue. I am bound to speak my mistress here like murdered in her bed. Oh, heavens forfend. And your report to set the murders on. Nay, stare not, masters, it is true. Oh, tis a strange truth. Charge and get you home. Santiago, I will ne'er go home. Oh, lay thee down and roar, for thou hast killed the sweetest innocent that e'er did lift up eye. Oh, she was foul. I scarce did know you of. There lies your niece, whose breath these new these hands have newly stopped. I know this she was horrible and grim. Oh, poor Desdemona. Oh, I'm glad thy father is dead. Thy match was mortal to him. And pure grief sure his old tread in twain. Did he live now, this sight would make him do a desperate turn. Yea, curses the her angel from his side and fall to reprobance. Tis pitiful. But yet Iago knows that she and Cassio had the act of shame a thousand times committed. Cassio confessed it. And she did gratify his amorous words with that recognizance and pledge of love. The handkerchief, the antique token my father gave my mother. Oh, heavenly, oh, heavenly powers. Come, hold your peace. Twill out, twill out, I peace. No, I will speak as liberal as the North. Let heaven and men and devils let them all, all, all cry shame against me, yet I speak. Be wise and get you home. I will not. Fight your sword for a woman. Thou dull boor, that handkerchief thou speakst of, I found my fortune and did give my husband. For often with a solemn earnestness, more than indeed belong to such a trifle, he begged of me to steal it. Villainous whore. She gave it Cassio. No, alas. I found it and did give to my husband. Filth, thou liest! Oh, by heaven, I do not. I do not, gentlemen. Oh, murderous coxcomb, what should such a fool do with so good a wife? Are there no stones in heaven but that which serve for thunder? Oh, precious villain! Oh, out of the woman's fall! Sure, he has killed his wife. Take you this weapon and guard the door without. Let him not pass, but kill him rather. I will after that same slave. I'm not so valiant neither. But ever the puny whipster gets my sword. But why should honor outlive honesty? Let it go on. The sword of Spain, the ice brook's temper. <coughs> ah, here it is. Uncle, I must come forth. If thou attempt it, it will cost thee dear. Then step in and speak with me. What is the matter? Look. I have a weapon. A better itself did not sustain upon a soldier's thigh. I have seen that with this little arm and this good sword, I have made my way through more impediments twenty times your stop. But, oh, vain folks, 
Who can control his fate? It is not so now. Be not afraid that you see me here weapon. There is my journey's end. There is my butt. An utmost sea mark of my sail. Man but a rush against the fellow's breast. And he retires. Where should a fellow go? Thou, how dost look now, O oh, ill starred wench, pale as thy smock, when we shall meet at Compt. This look of thine will hurl my soul from heaven, and fiends will snatch at it. Cold, cold, my girl, like thy chastity. O oh, cursed slave, whip me, ye devils, from this heavenly sight. Blow me down in winds, roast me in sulphur, cast me out and steep down gulfs of liquid fire. Testimony's dead. <laughs> Where is this rash and most unfortunate man? He that was a fellow. Here I am. Where is that viper? Bring him in and forth. <coughs> I stare at his feet. If that is a fable. If thou hast best the devil, I cannot kill thee! Wretched your sorrow for him! I bleed, sir, but not killed. I am not sorry, neither. For in my senses, tis happiness to die. O oh, thou old fellow, thou art one so good, fallen in the practice of a damned slave. What should be said to me? Why, anything. An honourable murder, if you will. For naught I did in hate, but all in honour. This wretch hath far to confess his villainy. Did you and he consent in Cassio's death? I. Dear General, I never gave you cause. And I believe it. And I do cry your pardon. But demand this demi devil why he hath thus ensnared my soul and body. Demand me nothing. What you know, you know. From this time forth, I never will speak word. What, not to prate? Comments will off your lips. Thou dost best. Sir, you shall understand which hath befallen, which, as I think, you know not. Here is a letter found in the pocket of the slave Rodrigo. And here's another. The one of them imports the death of Cassio to be undertook by Rodrigo. Oh, villain! Most heathenish and most gross. And here's another discontented paper found in his pocket too. And this, it seems, Rodrigo meant to have said, This damned villain! <coughs> but that be like Iago in the interim came in and satisfied him. Oh, pernicious caitiff! How came you, Cassio? By that handkerchief that was my wife's. I bound it in my chamber, and he himself confessed even now that there he dropped it for a special purpose which wrought to his desire. You must forsake this room and go with us. Your power and your command are taken off, and Cassio rules the Cyprus. For this slave, if there be any cunning cruelty that can torment him much and hold him long, it shall be his. You shall close prisoner rest to that the nature of your fault be known to Venetian state. Come, bring him away. Soft you. A word or two before you go. I have done the state some service, and they know it. No more of it. But when you shall these unlucky deeds relate, speak of me as I am. Nothing extended. Nor set thou aught in malice when you speak of one who loved not so wisely but too well. Of one not easily jealous, but being wroth, perplexed in the extreme. Set you down beside it. That in Aleppo once, where a malignant and turban Turk did beat the Venetian and produce the state, <coughs> I took by the throat the circumcised dog, and I smote him thus! All that spoke is marred. I kissed thee. No way but this. Killing myself. 
the tide upon the kiss. This did I fear. I thought he had no weapon, but he was great of heart. Oh, start, dog. More fell than anguish, hunger, or the sea. Look at the tragic loadings of this belt. This is thy work! The object poison sight let it be hid. Graziano, keep the house and seize upon the fortunes of the moor, for they succeed on you. To you, Lord Governor, remains the censure of this hellish villain. The time, the place, the torture, Oh, the force. Myself was straight aboard. And to this state, this heavy act with heavy heart related. 